Okay, guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 3 sure. remake, remake, or Looks just like Resident Evil 3 at this point. So this is going to be the Chris Redfield a la Resident Evil 6 part of the game. That is, until something hits me, I lose my damn... I lose my damn gun. And then, like, oh, now all you have is a pea shooter and a knife. That's generous to think they'd give you a knife. Mm-hmm. Brad, stop! It's... it's See. You too. What was that? Sorry. Oh, it's him! Uh -huh. Oh, it's the black eyes, oh, the Will Smith. No, the guy in the uh, the, the yellow Shit, vest. Who is that? I think that's the uh, the the helicopter pilot. His name is Brad. Yeah, that's the helicopter pilot, right? I can't remember, if I'm being honest. I know he's a member of Stars. I'm no, he was the guy we were hanging out with at the beginning of the game. It's Brad Vickers. It. Yeah, I think that's oh, the yeah, helicopter the pilot. Got then when we left, he was the guy who got bit. Oh, he doesn't just have a... Uh... Oh man, I want to leave <laughs> now. Now. Dono don't care. We got a job to do. I want to leave right now. Cause I remember Let's all of this. Him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Got a knife, a handgun. Carlos. Located the star's office. Remember, I don't know where to go. I just don't know where to go. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. So this happens right before Resident Evil 2. I'll open the shutter. Clearly. Yeah. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. You know what? Up until this point, like the game has been like a little it's been a bit it's been a bit much. But, like, being back in the police station, like, this gives me anxiety. Like, this scares me. Like, this makes me uneasy, if only because I've been here already. And, like, being here freaks me out because I know what's here. Like, I don't know... Hmm. <sighs> I'm hearing some very unnerving noises. The stars. That could be useful. Boy, I am really glad I looked at this. I'm glad, I'm glad I looked at the map because I get the feeling like I was at the I was gonna get into a certain point of this uh location and not know where to go. Like at all. I'll be completely lost. ID card see. ID card security protocols. September 16, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it to R report it or lost immediately. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. Are you are you watching Golden Girls on Hulu? Who me? No. Well, I'm, I was very scared. What the hell was that thing? Clean your hands. 
I'm pretty sure that was a liquor. Like, it could have been a liquor, it might not have been a liquor. I don't know. Yeah, it had to be. Is there a point to come in here? I will say the guys on some zone, they did their jobs. Not this way, it could be that way. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Okay, gonna close that door. Is you take less damage, but you don't take no damage. Trying to do just that. What the fuck is wrong with that shit? Oh, you gonna die, bro. You are not. You are not. Oh my god. You are not helping us right now. Ah! Oh. That was that. That was real. That was some zombie movie BS right there, for real. And you just stop, take a second to open a, a lockbox. Look at this. I'm gonna regret doing that. Yep, immediately regretted it. Ah, shit! There are so many. There are so many. There are so many. All right. This is what we're doing. Lace them up. Liquors be damned. Bless it. Why are y'all just still like, oh, God damn it. Walking in. Boy.
Oh, they're so fuck. Many different ways to go. I'm pretty sure the uh, combination to the safe is the same as it was in two. So I guess if you remembered the combination in two, you can probably open it now. But for whatever reason, I can't unlock this door. That was the thing that I thought was funny. What? Because I didn't remember the, the combination. Did it open? Yeah. What's the combination? Uh, fuck, it's, it's like 7, 9, 13, 7, 9, 15, I have to look it up. 7, 9, 13, I'll try that. I know, I got I had the right numbers just mixed up, it's 9 to the left, and then right 15, and then left 7. That's hilarious. Oh. I have zero, like, I don't, I do not feel bad about having done that at all. Like, I don't. I feel like that should be a trophy. Yeah. If you could, like, put the mm -hmm. code in before you pick up the document that tells you it. I don't have fucked up shoot cops. I, I just need a I just need a green herb. Cause like I know there's a Oh I did not read that memo that was in there. Internal memo, September twenty second, nineteen ninety eight. Office supply internal re recollection. Yeah, recol re relocation notice, that's what this is. It's late. He resistant three number uh, combination safe move to. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Please, like, did I put anything? I did not. Oh. Every time I see the auto save thing come up in the upper left hand corner, it worries me. If cameras kill those things, I'd be set. And I'm seeing a cutscene right now, so I guess that's a good thing that I. Was worried. Oh, I don't like you. I don't like the way you look at all. Oh, fucking fantastic. Let's drop a save while we're here. I just need a green herb to get this dude back to, like, playable health. Because, like, I was, I was... I was doing real bad. And I popped the I ate the green herb, like in that moment, because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna die, and then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna regret this, and then immediately came across a red herb, and now I have two red herbs. I just got into a fight with a teenage mutant needle teeth one, didn't like it. Note to a friend, Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you're hearing any noises, don't. If you hear any noises come from the lock, come from the locker, don't open it. Please, while you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to get to the other side. I realized the explosive might be our best bet. We managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during the intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock down this wall. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed, I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't, I don't need to spell it out why you must not open the locker. Please do not worry about me. Just get yourself out here, out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that six hundred dollars I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Jokes on you. He wasn't worried about that six hundred dollars at all. It seems like you wasn't getting that back. Okay. Oh, you 
fucker. Oh, thank Christ. Okay. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna open the locker. Better not. What? Oh, fuck. You won't let me open the locker. Would it have? Would I have? I would have been able to open the locker if I had opened it before I read the note. I'm assuming I would have. Okay. Well, you're not dead. I remember all the combination lockers do. If you need the answers to these. No, it's, it's C. It's Cap. Like we can't. Like you come across it before. Uh... I'm gonna just, if it kills me, I'm still gonna take this guy out with just a knife. It might kill me. Well, I killed the Teenage Mutant Angel people. God damn it! Come on. Finally! Teenage Mutant Little, little, I got a, I got a key. Examine the key. It is the safety deposit key. All right. I will let you know ahead of time that the uh, grenades work very, very well on the, the needle tips. Okay, what's the uh, upstairs safety deposit? Uh, upstairs combination. DCM. DCM. All right. Double crime, eh? Yeah. Huh. That's the reason I remember that. If uh, you know. I get I get the strong feeling we made that. I I, I made that joke the last time we when we played this. Uh, last time. I don't feel like I've died enough for them to keep telling me that I should be... Oh, something. I had only died like twice when, when it first popped up for me. Like something's about to jump out of me. It, it, it jump out of me. I know it is. We're running down this hallway again. There it is. You know what I didn't do last time? I'm doing this time. I never used it. I like no ass up this time around. Well, I tried. Because <laughs> I did not use a, uh, I did not kill a single liquor when I played Resident Evil 2. Not one. Never killed a single one. Ran like, Shoot the liquor off the walls and send it with a few extra shots before it recovers. To get a few extra shots before, yeah. What's my health at? Caution? Oh, we're good. I, kill, I was determined to kill that thing with the knife. Because I thought there would be a trophy for it. Now, the thing is about liquors, they can't see shit. Their, their hearing is extremely, uh... There you are, dick face. Now, by all means, if you... Oh! Mm-hmm. Air out Glenn's head again. Too soon? No. You fucking kidding me? 
And the answer is no, they're not fucking giving me. What's in here? Why did I come in here? Oh, the, a whole grenade. Okay, 109. 106. Ah, that's why I'm in here. Now, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be missing buttons. There's not. <laughs> well, I have to kill another one of you guys, and I have no ammo. It is my favorite. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. In the next episode, we'll uh, grab this battery, head upstairs, and do some demolitions. Until next time. Oh. If you like what you saw here today, hit the like button. If you didn't like what you saw here today, leave me a comment down below telling me what I can do to improve. If you super duper like what you saw, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling froggy, go ahead and hit the subscription bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Upload is not the right word. Every time one of my videos goes public. Because I upload about six videos, like, ugh. I publish about six videos per day through the, through the week, two over the weekends. One Saturday, one Sunday. Until next time. Please stay safe, stay clean, and I don't know, do something nice for your next door neighbor. Especially if she got big tits. Uh, be out of here. Peace. I mean, I'm not doing anything nice for her, but she does have big tits.